This is a walkthrough of the Great Hall. Uh, this is just one version of it, so there's many different versions of every map. Keep that in mind. So, if you were hoping that this would be identical to whatever one you're playing, uh, it may, may, it may not. You may not even have this map in your version of Lasam. That's how the game works, but uh, because of that, it's not really possible for me to just make a guide for every single version. Maybe eventually, but I'm going as fast as I can. Um, so, this is just a guide for the Great Hall. There'll be many similarities between it and yours, I'm sure, but it will be uh, different. Oh my god, I forgot to reload. It's so tempting to go for headshots on those guys, but they, the way they move... And just the fact that I have to wait. Oh, that hit me. Oh, he has a third one. How did one come in behind me? I'm gonna heal up real fast. I guess I missed one behind me somewhere. I really spend these trait points. Uh, I want to get stamina regen. Oh god, hold on. Oh jeez, I forgot he had that fast attack. But you didn't know he had a weak spot on his back. That's it. That guy's an inter interesting case because the way that he is makes you want to think that you can't get in melee range him without getting murdered. But that's actually the trick because if you get in melee range, you roll past him, then um, you can just shoot him in the back. I need to probably use this um, this gun more often, the machine gun, in this area, just because the enemies make such uh, ridiculous movements in the air, like insane movements to try to hit, at least to get the headshots. And if I can't like fairly consistently get the headshots with the other gun, then it like makes it not as good. Oh, did I? Can I not go into that? Yeah, there was a closed door. I'm pretty sure. So I definitely could not go in there. I can go back and check at the end of this, but pretty sure there was a closed door. At the start. Alright, sure, why not? Uh-oh. I can't cancel. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I never realized that gives a healing over time buff. I should be using those even when I'm full HP. You know what that means? I gotta rush in. Guns a-blazing. Oh, this is a variation of the council chamber. I never even realized the Great Hall is basically the council chamber, which means... Wonder what that is. This. So you go down here, and there's, um... Whoops. Go down here, and uh, there's a boss and stuff. The boss, if he's like the other one, will be right there. So I want to run in. Immediately go over here. Yep, there he is. And if it's like mine, yep, there's a green guy here. Oh, I always go too early. God, that guy's attack. I always go too early on his attack.
I got a double crit on him. Here, let me just heal up real fast. Did I get a save somewhere? No, I didn't. Oh my god. The setup for the Great Hall is a lot less fun for this area. Because if you want to fight the boss, you have to run... Well... I guess it's about as far. But you take an elevator is going to be the part that's annoying if you, have to, if you die on this boss. Um... Hold on. So, we go over here. Oh. If you go over here, there's an ornate flail. Which I'm probably not going to grab in this video because I want to make a separate video about it. So, I'll probably do that after this. But if you do want to get in your playthrough, if you get an area that has this area. Or get in, a, you know, the Great Hall or whatever has this area. You shoot that so you can climb. And then you can just go over here and then you can grab the item. It's a flail. It's called the ornate flail. Um, unless it's different in the Great Hall. But, you know, I can actually go physically look at it. So let me make sure that it's the uh, Great Flail and it's not different in this version. But considering everything else has been identical so far. Yeah, that, that looks like the Ornate Flail. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's a melee weapon. Um, its base damage, I think, is lower than the default mace, but it attacks faster. And it has some kind of perk on it. Alright, now for me to do the thing that I'm going to regret here, if I mess up which is fight this guy so what's going to happen here is if i die the video will just splice and it'll splice to i'll just fight come back over and over again until i kill him and the video will just splice to where the time that i came back and then just killed him but hopefully i'll just get him first try and it'll be fine all right so the bad news is i died the good news is now i know to grab this like this i come back on this and have it go up and be up instead of down so if i die i don't i can just run through everything <laughs> it was weird i ran through everything and i had enemies chasing me and then I had to, uh, I had to uh, jump across to the backside and then kill them all, and then I could like pull the lever and go down. But if it had already been up, I could have just got on it, and it would have been way better. All right, well, let's go ahead and do this again. Let me heal up real fast. So the main reason I died was I went to use this thing. I pressed F, and it just didn't work. I mean, right now I don't have any charges, but it didn't work for some reason, and it distracted me. And then I got hit, and he has not power, so he one shot me, basically. I mean, I could have had more HP. I was like half HP, so. If I can get that weak spot on this guy. Oh, I forgot there's a ceiling. What if he just ate me there? And oh, man. Holy crap. I did not realize that was going to do that much damage. What? What? Okay, unfortunately, now I gotta wait like 10 seconds for my heal. I did not know that did that much damage. That's crazy. Okay, here we go. In a sec. Okay. Alright, there we go. Make sure this is fully reloaded. That's the main attack to watch out for. Because he can get me in a combo if I'm lazy. Alright, here it comes. Hit her. The first one comes fast. The next two are slow. Delayed dodge. If you stay this distance from him, sometimes he'll just walk. He'll just keep walking. And then slam like that. I'm running out of room. Uh oh. I think if he hit me, he might just one shot me at this point. I don't know what Empower does, but I have a, I have a hunch that Empower makes him do more damage or less HP he has. But I'm not sure. Really not sure. Our second try is good. We got a mutator for steadfast. Which... 
Does not work on my pistol. If I bet you it's a melee thing. Yep. Charge melee attacks cannot be interrupted. I gain 10% damage reduction from all sources. Huh. You know, that could have a use. That actually could. There could be. I'm sure there's niche scenarios. You hold your button in order to use it. And then uh, you do that in order to power through something that would otherwise stagger you. And then be in a great position to do something. Whoops, I didn't mean to click that. I'm sure there's probably an amulet or a ring in this game that increases magazine size by like 25% or something. And if I ever got that, that would make this gun so good. Like literally just one more bullet even. Just 20% so we have one bullet. It would be such a good weapon. So many door unlocks when you go through here. So yeah, this this little secret area is identical to the one in, um, at least on my version of this. This little secret area is identical. Oh, a Sapphire Dreamstone. What is this? Critical to reduce skill cooldowns by three percent can only happen once every two seconds. Yeah, that one's pretty good, but I don't know if I can have anything to give up for it. The one I'm going to give up for it is this. I do want it. Oh, I'm gonna look at okay. Pretty good, pretty cool. Yep. All right, let's put it on for now. Look at that through the wall. Oh my god, the range on my mace is always just short enough to get me hit like that. I do it all the time, where I'm like, okay. I'll just turn and I'll walk at them and press it. And I always forget, like, it just does not work out that way. And I come up short. Like, I got to actually walk at them, like, far. Okay, what we got here? This is a little different. All right. Okay, the other way connects back in. I don't even like wasting my ammo on those guys anymore. We got another ring. Fey Warrior Ring. Melee damage, 15%. That could be insane for some builds, though. Now, if we go over here, this led back up to where I just came from. And then all this is another loop. I gotta reload this. Oh my gosh. Totally forgot about it. I feel like there should just be a secret room in here. What about over here? Nope. I'm always hopeful I'll find something I've never found before. I whiffed. Oh my god, I whiffed everything. Damn, I didn't find him fast enough. He'd sunk. Man, those guys are the most annoying if you're point blank. Because they make just these like... They're not as fast as a Genji dash from Overwatch, but they're similar mechanic to that where it's like very quickly change your position. Uh-oh. I heard that. Is that an enemy right there? I thought I saw movement over there. I think maybe it was just a weapon handle. Yeah, this is definitely different. This part is definitely different than the um, version I did of the other place. I already forgot the name of the other one. Um, council chambers. Oh, is this a shortcut to get back to the... No, this is, a, this is to get to another area that maybe we could have entered from and not been able to come in. Interesting. All right. Oh, this is a dead end. I definitely didn't see anything. Wait. Oh, no. I didn't, I didn't want to commit to this yet. Uh-oh. Well, at least I have an escape route. This must be where that top path went. Yeah, it is. All right, how would I get in here? Maybe I get in from the other room. All right, there's probably a secret path, right? Oh, 
Okay. I'll have to find this out. But real quick, what's over here? Oh, here we go. Ravenous metal. Medallion, I mean. All right, inventory. Um, there it is. Let's go over the film. Port placed in its current position, whatever. All right, I don't see anything special on it. Throw that again. Ravenous medallion. So that's probably used, my guess is it's used somewhere else, and then I probably come back, and then I can do this later. This is probably one of these things I'm going to have to come back later. I'm just going to assume, honestly. All right, I know what to do. I know what to do. I definitely didn't cheat and just look it up. So there was a locked door at the very beginning of this that I said we'll probably have to come back later to go do, and we'll check it at the end of this. Yeah, I need to go back there. So I'm wondering if this lift that I unlocked, if it'll just take me there. I have a hunch it will. Let's find out. Actually, I can just look at the map and see, will it? Um, it'll take me... Yeah, it'll take me back to the beginning. Okay. Wait, I didn't even know... Wait a minute. Is this lift go to two different places? Didn't I come in on that lift? No, I came in in a portal and I didn't even look to the right, did I? Maybe I did. Well, I'm glad I didn't because I would have wasted my time going down and finding a locked door, so it all worked out. Let me go ahead and heal right now. I know it's just a little bit of healing, but I'm not going to be healing for like, you know, at least half a minute here. Alright, so now what we can do with that, go back to the beginning here and open up this door. All right, so there's gonna be this guy in here. You there. The feast is ready. Am I invited? We have taken great pains for this meal. Toil dead. What is it for? King Talk about the new king. Happen to the old king. I'll take a look at what you set out here. All, that is required. Eat. all right, so now we need to eat something. All right, so I accidentally died on that because I got confused on the mechanics for a sec. So I just cut that part out. We'll go straight to the one where I win. All right, so eating this starts up the fight, and then I just got to be aggressive with them. So I need to eat food to stay alive. Because I can't use my uh, relics. But also these red guys come up and eat everything. So there's less and less stuff to eat. So you got to eat at just the right times, but also these red guys eat everything and then there's nothing left to eat. And then also, um, if you don't, if you don't kill the guys, the angel things that come in fast enough, then the guys who eat get eaten by the angels, I think, and then they become empowered. Okay, remember not to touch that stuff. I learned that before. See like that. And, of course, he's perfectly body blocked. <laughs> he's perfectly body blocked by the pillar. Oh, I'll be honest, the hardest part of this battle is that the color scheme is weird. Oh, God, it's going to be a tough one. One hit and I'm dead. Oh. 
Oh, almost died. Oh, I forgot about the poison. All right, that was actually a really hard boss fight just because of the pressure that you're under. But after a few tries, it'd be a little bit easier because I haven't memorized of when to eat because it's hard to know when to eat when you haven't done it many times. But after that, you can talk to this guy. And he'll give you an amulet, a neckbone amulet. All right, so let's take a look at that neckbone amulet. Reduces damage to status effects applied to the wearer by 50%. Gain 25% increased damage when suffering from a status effect or blight. Eh. Eh, it's probably not that great. Okay. So then after that, in order to get those secret rooms, we got to go into each of these. So there's one here and there's another one we'll get to in a sec. Here they come. Can you hit me in here? Oh yeah, he can. I'm dead. Okay, don't do that. That's a really dumb idea. All right, let's try this again. But this time, let's actually come into the room. I was like only reloading like two bullets. Oh, can I shoot while reloading? I never even thought about it. With this gun, at least. Okay, after that, there's also this book in here I'm not even going to open. There's a chest. Relic fragments, random garbage. All right, then you can open up this in order to unlock the door. All right, and then what you do is you crawl back into this and go back up. Also, are there any exits from this place? Oh. Oh, it seems I missed something down there. I wasn't even paying attention. Um, we'll have to go check out. Oh, that's an altar? Wait a minute. Oh, that's right. I didn't miss that. That was the ornate flail I talked about. I was so confused. I thought it was a safe or something. Anyway, um, go over here. But yeah, that was the ornate flail in case you skipped through the video and didn't see what I was talking about. Um, I didn't grab it because I'm going to make a separate video for it after this. But uh, it's just a flail. It's a little bit weaker than the one I have right now, but it's faster. and has some special stuff effects, but it's nothing, nothing totally insane. Oh, God. Um, yeah, don't mind me. Oh my, he literally looked at me. Man, fighting that guy in a closed space is tough. Oh, these guys are alive. All right, wait, well, he dropped a bone chopper, melee weapon. Didn't drop it necessarily. Much less melee damage, higher critical hit chance, higher weak spot damage. And that's about it. Oh my God, you can kill these guys. Oh, wow, I didn't even realize that's kind of messed up. Okay, well, anyway. Then we can open up this. And there we go. Um, and then there's only one way in. Hold on. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God, I always have two bullets. So like I was saying, uh, there's only one way into here, at least on this generation of it. So that means it's just a dead end area for loot basically on this version. I don't know if the version you have will be different or if there's only one version of the Great Hall. I assume there's multiple because most areas have multiple, but hopefully it's able to help you out somehow. So uh, maybe it'll be different. I, I have a feeling the quest with these little things like this will be similar with the feast and the battle there, that boss battle. But um, there may be differences in layout and stuff. But now you know what to expect. If you're missing anything, you check and try to see if, you know, if it was in here. And maybe it'll help you on yours. But anyway, that was uh, my walkthrough slash playthrough of the Great Hall in Remnant 2.